Oh! No chance! Today, we're finding out how far the limits of a baseball glove can be pushed. Lorenzo has picked out six items for me to try and field with. I have 20 chances to make a play, three plays with each item. If I make more than half the plays, I win. If I don't make more than half the plays, he and the shackles of mainstream society wins. All right, I spent $100 on a mailbox. It's really big and kind of hard to move, so it's going to be tough to run around with this, but it does have an opening. Number 34. Shout out David Ortiz. I feel like the eighth dwarf. Posty. <laughs> you think mailmen are watching this and are proud? This feels political. I'm, oh, let, me, let me put my flag out because I'm ready for, I'm ready for business. I'm worried about the integrity of this. Oh, that's there. Make the play. Oh, it missed the mail slot. All right, 0 for 1. I think this is a bad glove. Oh, that's there. Oh! <laughs> the integrity is not where you need it to be. But you kind of you kind of trapped it well. Oh, that's kind of there. Arranging. <sighs> this is just dangerous. <laughs> that's a bad mailbox. This is just a bad idea. My mail's everywhere. Next up, I got a basketball hoop laundry hamper. You could either bank the ball in or kind of use it as a net. It's gonna be pretty hard to move around and square up a line drive though. That's really good. I feel like I'm an avatar. I did not think you were gonna use it like that. Imagine me slowly walking through a thick brush. All right, I need a big round. The I, hate big the round. I hate mail. I'm not opening my mail anymore. Oh, there it is. I, did I front rim? You front rim that. That's like bad in basketball, right? And in baseball. Hit another one. I'm starting to think this isn't a baseball glove. What? Excuse me? Does that count? <laughs> no, but it's in the video because it looked cool. I feel like I'm fishing for a round fish. Get in. Oh, there you go. I did not think that's how you were going to use it. I needed that real bad. I never actually had one of these. I wasn't cool enough to own one of those. And also, th what is this, just for socks? I think socks and or other items that look like socks. Feet? All right, come on. Be a ball player for once in your stupid little life. Oh! Oh, nice play! It's very scary and I hate it. I did not think you were going to be able to make two plays with that. Needed it. I got a pooper scooper. It's going to be really hard to pick it and it has this weird looking hinge. But it's, there it is. I have a lot of range. I just, I gotta find the angle. Once I find the angle, it's over. I bought this as your hardest item. That's not a good sign for me. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. <laughs> Here we go, come on. Oh, ranging. Oh! <laughs> no way. Snow tone. Oh no yeah. No way. Oh yeah. Not a chance! You're two for two. That's great. That's actually the most impressive thing I've seen. Same exact play, too. Boom. Oh, there's a dog. It's jealous. Oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see? Did I just fall? All right, I'm down by one point. The next item is a dustpan. I mean, this, this is going to be hard. Who actually uses that when they're sweeping? You get to get it in. I just, is sweeping a two-man job? I don't sweep. <laughs> I vacuum. You're a vacuum over sweep guy? Yeah, I suck all day, baby. This one is, it's the only one that's the shape of a glove. So I'm feeling kind of optimistic about that. Um, and it has a ramp. So I'm just going to ramp it up and then make the play. I'm not using, I'm not using the brush. Maybe at the end I'll use the brush, but I need points. Six more plays. If I make six more plays, I win. And I prove you wrong. Oh boy. This is maybe, dare I say, better than a glove because I can just switch. It's amphibious. I just switch hands. Come on. That's Routine. just right at you. I mean, that looked like a glove. <laughs> I think it might be a glove in disguise. It might be the sequel to Spies in Disguise with Tom Holland and Will Smith. Gloves in Disguise with Tom Holland and Will Smith playing gloves. I used the brush. That's what I bought it with you using the brush in mind, and then I realized I'm an idiot, and you could just field it with your hand. This looks like what you would brush like a hippo's teeth with at a zoo. That's all humans do. All humans do is ca capture animals and brush their teeth.
You know that video? I think it's a mariner. He does like soccer tricks with a baseball. It's so impressive. These balls hurt toes. We have a whale shark. It has a mouth. Whale sharks are my favorite shark because they're the they looked the most like an indoor pool of all the sharks. Uh, okay, so this hole is like exactly the size of a baseball, which is like a glove. Yes. Um, everything else about it isn't. Well, are you gonna try to, I think you should try to catch it with your mouth unbiasedly. My mouth? Yes. No. Oh, um, off the mouth. I feel like we just kinda had like a romantic. <laughs> Dude, that's my whale shark. Was that close? It was close, but it's gonna be incredibly hard to catch, which is kind of the point here. Man. Stop dragging it around like that. No. This might be the stupidest I've ever looked. I looked like that weird guy that would come to your school and show you snakes. Hey kids. You wanna see something you shouldn't be seeing in school? Oh, that's a blooper. No! Oh! <laughs> I'm over two. I didn't want it to have to come to this. No! Oh! <laughs> it didn't go in the, so. Zip them up. It's like nothing. I mean, he took my whale shark and then caught a ball with my whale shark. We should start doing this new thing where we just like start throwing baseballs at our cameraman. This is the last item. I'm down by three points and great news, Jack has to use a ladle. This should be the hardest thing he has. I said that about other items, but this is a literal ladle catching fly balls. Couple options here. I palm it and it's the perfect size of a ball, I think. So it's gonna go in there and I trap it, kind of like just using my bare hand. Or I like, like a lacrosse stick. That feels like it's not gonna happen. If I make two plays, I win. Oh, that's right at you. Did it break? Very much. Oh, for one. I almost had it. Maybe like this? Oh, I don't, I don't hate that. Okay, okay, okay. I do hate it a little. Oh, that's there. No! <laughs> you almost robbed the home run! Man in a spoon. Oh, that's up there. High game. It's I don't impossible. think that was possible. It's, that's, it's, that's it's, not, it's just not possible. Those are all the items. We just used the six items and it's it's tied. Good job. Nine to nine, tie. So now we're gonna let the cameraman decide what the, fi what the item I have to use for the final two is. And if I make both plays, I win. If I miss both plays, you win. Is he going to the ladle? Uh, that's, oh, that's the whale, whale shark. Okay, I don't hate that. And what am I doing? Pop-ups, honestly, you okay. went one for free of the whale shark, so I don't hate that at all. I'm, I'm about to go two, two for two, and I prove you wrong. Winner keeps the whale shark? Okay. I hate that bet already. <laughs> Don't let me down, you whale. I don't think I can use its mouth. I think it's too risky to go for the mouth. I think I gotta trap it for the first one. No chance. One more to win. Hit me another. You just used it as like a pillow. As a glove. I feel like I've actually been with a shark too much. At first I thought it was fun, but now I, I kinda wanna like not be holding it anymore. Oh boy. Did you catch that? It's like a crab rangoon. <laughs> it unfolded it and I, and I got a win in it. You did not just go two for two of the whale shark. I have 11, you have nine. You do the math. 